feel like all the clout and the exaggeration or cap like they call it, niggas got to be hip to the fact that the people watching even harder now. Hell yeah. Like, that's the that's the thing. Like, they watching hard, hard. <laughs> and the motherfuckers really on the Instagram and on the internet, bro. Yeah. Like, the motherfuckers on that bitch. Just how we on that motherfucker. And that's the thing. Like, I want my little homegirl got caught up. Mm. And when the detectives and shit came and got her, they was like, they was asking her, like, oh, uh, when you mixtape, how you doing with the mixtape? And yeah, when you, oh, whoop, they was all on that Instagram they and shit, watching that shit. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, just be mindful of that shit, you know what I'm saying? The shit that we post. And when I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to myself too, goddammit, you know what I'm saying? We gotta be mindful of the shit that we post on Instagram and understand if you really doing what you really doing. Yeah. Like you ain't gotta like you if you really doing what you really doing and you're a street nigga, you really don't want people to know that you really doing what you really doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like just keep that shit separated, like your street do your street shit. Use that social media for your business and business only, you know what I'm saying? Well, I agree hundred percent. A hundred percent. I be watching I be watching you, you know, peeping your music, I stay in tune with you. That's one thing I like a lot about what you do, like like the way you present this shit, you, I see you sometimes too. You go on the gram and you giving game. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dropping some shit like that. So I like how you how you maneuver on that shit. I like too how patient you are with this shit. Nah, yeah, yeah. Because I know, bro. Like I was telling my young boy, like nigga, if you trying to feed your family, if we was forming or whatever, and you trying to plant your cabbage in. Your greens and your tomatoes and your watermelons and your all that shit like just know when that shit sprout and do what it do you gonna have enough shit to feed your family and make more and more and more but that shit ain't gonna grow overnight nigga you gonna have to get out there and put in that work you gonna have to water that shit you gonna have to make sure the the weeds and all that shit you gonna have to put in that work mm -hmm. and then when that shit so I'm in it for the long run. I can see the future. I know it's coming. I I know it ain't no overnight shit. Yeah. As you grow and you come up with this shit, do you just I guess just in Houston? Do you notice a lot of people who are really just in it for that overnight shit? Well, I know you travel too, so not just Houston. Man, it's a lot of people want it overnight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, like. It's way more people want it overnight than niggas who can see that it's gonna take a uh, take time. You know what I'm saying? Like I be talking to a lot of people, and they be like, "Man, I'm a woo woo," and I be like, "Yeah, you know, you know, one time I felt like that." And I'm not saying that it's not gonna work for you. I'm not saying that because it do happen sometimes. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, some of them niggas like my little nephew. I'm gonna give an example. He was like, nigga, I'm a plan, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna whoop, whoop. And I'm like, you gotta know how I'm playing now, but what if this happened? Like, he ain't never thinking about that. He's like, nah, but I'm whoop, whoop. And make a long story short, he was planning on saving money to do something, but he ended up losing the job. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, the time is here for you to do what you said you were gonna do, can you do it? Nah, uh, but I lost the job. Okay. Mm -hmm. I told you that. What if something <laughs> go on, nigga? But you didn't plan for that. You had it out, thinking out of your goddamn head that it was gonna work how you thought it was gonna work. Mm -hmm. But now it ain't gonna always work how you think it's gonna work, my nigga. So just in case, have a plan B. It's a goddamn uh, series on uh, Netflix called Money Heist, and this nigga was planning to rob this bank and all that type of shit. And it was like what he was doing. This nigga had planned out everything that can go right. But he also planned out every single thing that can go wrong. So when the shit started going wrong, they already knew how to make it right because he had already knew what was going to happen because he planned for everything to go wrong. Mm -hmm. He already knew what can go right, so fuck planning what can go right. He planned for everything to go wrong and figured out a way how to maneuver about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good game. That's, that's a real good game, especially with the rap game because... You know as I know that this shit could go any way, any day. Yeah, yeah. It's a tough, tough job.